Okay, so I'll just run you through a standard installation um, on the UFP20. So the first thing you need to do is go into the installation wizard. You see that's option one. Press select. Choose an empty location and name it whatever. The, the name isn't important. Let's call this one A and choose enter. Uh, okay, now the first thing it's asking for is the diameter of the pipe, so or the circumference. Um, I'll select diameter, and this is the pipe I'm installing on here. I know the diameter of this pipe is 90 mil, so I'll type in 90, and then press enter. Uh, it's a carbon steel pipe, um, so I'll select carbon steel. The wall thickness of the pipe. Uh, this is a 5.6 mil thick pipe, so I'll choose 5.6 and enter. There's no liner, so I'll select no liner. Uh, the fluid is water that I've got, so I'll select water. The transducers I've got, just check the transducers. Um, so these ones are UP10 AST. So I'll select that. Uh, v is the most common and easiest to set up, uh, so I'll choose V. Now this is your unit setting, so this is how it displays on the unit. Um, Leaves per minute's good for me. And that's the decimal points, that's how many decimal points you're expecting to see, you can choose that there. And your totalizer, um, I'll just get in just standard leaders, so I'll choose that there. Data store, you can choose yes or no, that just saves it in the installation, so you can select at a later time if you want to. And then start measurement, choose yes. Okay, then it gives you this mounting information, tells you the distance to mount them apart. So 44.8, I need to space them. So you'll see here the gap I've got is 44.8 roughly the gap between this line and this line the white lines you see and you'll see the pipe um, is sanded to remove any corrosion or anything it might interrupt okay so then we basically just have to hook up the transducers you'll see I've already put some grease on the transducer um, we just use this super lube synthetic grease Uh, and we have to make sure they go on the right way. So you'll see on the top these are already connected as well. Um, you should use the uh, one position, so UP1 and DN1. Um, this is if you're using a dual path measurement. Um, so you'll see red here is down and green is up. Uh, and in this case, I've got flow coming uh, out of here through this pipe. So this is upstream, this is downstream. Uh, so this is up, this is down. So what I say red, red's down. So I'll just put these into their spots. And you'll see the markings on the transducers uh, are facing each other. So green's upstream, red is downstream, and they're facing each other. Okay, and then just tighten up. Okay, so once you've uh, fully tightened the transducers, just make sure you don't tighten them too much. You'd want probably just the grease just coming out the sides. Um, you see they're tight, solid to the pipe, and the grease just popping out the side. Okay, so once you've done that, you can press OK to start measurement. And I'll just turn on the pump. Start to see some flow come through. Okay, and I will just show you. Um, so, if you go into this echo form viewer. see a signal something like that okay and then 
back on. Measure mode. 